let's in fact take you through the details of everything that we know about the comet so far. And remember, this is only the third interstellar object that we have come to know of and hence it's very important to see how it, uh, what all details we can discover over here. So everything that we know about the 3i atlas, it has been identified as a comet by NASA following detailed telescopic observations. So remember, uh, the NASA classified it as a comet after it observes its activities when it passes through our solar system. It has been labeled as 3i, meaning it's the third interstellar object ever detected entering our solar system. So you, we usually have naming systems on how it is named and since this was the third interstellar object that we have discovered, it's named as 3i and Atlas comes from the system that actually discovered this comet. Now the interstellar object currently is traversing through the solar system. So you can see on your screens how it actually traverses through our solar system and remember this has come from another star system that's why it is an interstellar object. Now the speed and trajectory show that it's not gravitationally bound to the sun. Now remember viewers that uh, this is uh, on a hyperbolic trajectory and why it is so because the speed of it and how it's following the route also shows us that it is not bound to our star system and hence we came to know that it's come from another star system. There is no gravitational pull by the sun and it points to its origins in another star system. Hence since it's not bound to our sun it will obviously exit our solar system and it proves that it's come from another star system in the universe. Now the speed of more than 200,000 kilometers per hour that is increasing as it approaches the sun. So clearly we are seeing high speed velocity over here and it's not on a constant uh, flow that's going. It's increasing as it's approaching the sun. And we just told you that this was the closest that it has appeared uh, around the sun this week. Now images also showed that the comet is becoming bluer than the sun and significantly brighter as it approaches the perihelion. So uh, this is also an amazing fact that has come to the fore. It's burning brighter than the sun. It's appearing to be more blue than our own sun. According to astronomers, the sudden brightening exceeds rate of typical comets by several magnitudes. So usually when we measure uh, the brightening of the comets and you know they, de they develop a tail, we measure it in magnitudes and it's showing that now when studies are seeing, we are seeing that the magnitude is many times than the normal comets that we actually observe. Now since detection, several irregularities in the trajectory have been discovered and activity levels and also the composition has been noted. So clearly, uh, obviously since this is the third interstellar object, we will race to in fact find out its composition and what it actually is. It will soon emerge from behind the sun and it is expected to be visible again by late November. So as we mentioned, it's racing past the sun and again, it will again, uh, you know, be visible in November late this year. It emits a stable pulse sequence that appears to follow Fibonacci pattern found in the DNA in plants and in galaxy. So that's another important point that we are, uh, you know, we have discovered that there is a, you know, stable pulse uh, frequency uh, sequence uh, at the frequency of 14,020 megahertz. So this stable pulse sequence actually resembles a lot to a, a lot of things in nature as well. And the stable pulse sequence at frequency of 14,020 megahertz, also known as SETI, and the interstellar calling challenge. So clearly these are some very important points and facts that we have discovered about this third interstellar object. 